at home, people were just saying that something said I should come. Something said I should come, and it shall be a portion in Jesus' name. Because we'll be so ignited that families will be, there will be joy in the family. There will be joy among the children. There will be joy among the mothers. There will be joy among the fathers. And we shall really be on fire for the Lord in Jesus' name. In Acts chapter 19, as we run up, Acts chapter 19, we see another revival now uh, in, in, the, in the New Testament. In the Acts, we are still in the Acts of the Apostles. Amen? We are still in the Acts of the Apostles, Acts of the Holy Ghost. We are in the Acts of the Holy Ghost. Ignite! Acts 19, 19, many of them also, which you curious are, brought their books together and burned them before all men, and they counted the price of them, and found how many? 50,000 pieces of silver. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Do you want the word of God to, to prevail? Do you want the word of God to, to, to grow? Then we need to look at those altars. Bring down those altars. Let Lord say, Lord, touch me. Turn up, let's turn up and let, Lord, touch me, touch me. Any high place, any high place, watch me. I don't want to go to the left. I don't want to go to the right. I want to be ignited. I want to, you to prepare me. Watch me. Watch me. I, want, I, want, I don't want the revival to be as usual. No, 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 no. This no, cannot be as usual. This is not business as usual. It's not that, oh, our original overseer is coming. No, 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 no. Is coming a different man. God took him from us and took him to the Philippines to prepare him for this ignite. He's coming with testimony like David. He said that I, I went, when this thing happened, this is what God used me to do in the Philippines. Let's, ready, let's be ready to get our own. Let's be ready to get our own. Let's open our mouth and talk to the Lord. That ignite, ignite will not pass you. Pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior. Let, get it. Why others you are calling? Why you are others in your calling? In uh, you are calling other people around the DMV area. We don't want to be left behind. We want to receive the double combo, the double combo of ignite of revival. Let's talk to the Lord. Let's talk to the Lord. Let's talk to the Lord. As we are preparing, we should push ourselves. We should not allow anything that will, 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 will hinder us from that revival. Anything that will hinder us, we are ready to put aside. We are ready to look ourselves and say, no, 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 no. And, and, and no more look, no, this lukewarmness, this lukewarmness must go. I must go out and do the work of the master. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you because we are excited. We are going to do exploit for you. He said that the Lord gave the command and great of the company of them that went to publish it. Father, we are ready to go out and invite the people. The, in the streets, in the corners, in the hedges, in the public place, we will invite them. Prepare their heart, O oh God, that they come, that revival will spread. The communities, Washington, D.C. will know that there's, there are some people. And people from different, different ethnic background. They say, we heard of something. We have come. We want to be part of the ignition. We want to be ignited. Lord, we pray that nothing will quench the fire of the revival as the man of God comes to ignite that revival in our midst in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank and bless your name for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Ignite!
Praise the Lord. I am blessed. How about you? We are blessed in Jesus' name. We're going to rise as we share the grace in fellowship. But after the grace, I want to encourage us to not be in a hurry. Uh, to leave. We're going to just kind of segregate those who want to go out for the neighborhood for outreach. Uh, we're going to have that category. And those who want to stay back and help with arrangement of seats in the sanctuary, you know, stay back. And those who want to help with uh, tidying up the, the church, cobwebs, whatever, cobwebs, you know, there, anything visible that needs to be taken down, go downstairs to the bathroom, um, look around the vicinity, uh, compound, you're looking around, you're just trying to be that porter, that gatekeeper, that servant in the house of the Lord. You're not in a hurry, but you're willing to help. I want to encourage you to also stay back. So as we share, after we share the grace, we're just going to get an idea of those who are going out for outreach, and then we'll get those who want to stay back and help in one area or the other. Praise the Lord. The grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Now go to someone and say, surely goodness and mercy will follow you. Now shift to another person. Somebody you've not talked to before. Tell them, surely goodness and mercy will follow you. The Lord will deliver you from stray bullets, from accidents, from satanic attack, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now shift to another person. Another person say, surely, goodness and mercy will follow you. The Lord will deliver you from untimely death and sicknesses, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now shift to another person. Another person, and tell them, surely, goodness and mercy will follow you. The Lord will deliver you from failure, from catastrophe, from suicidal attack, from terrorists, in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, shift to another person. Finally, I say, surely, goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. So after some moments of greetings, please.